Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here. In today's video, we will be talking about Q4 and what exactly you should know about Q4 with product research and just other things that Amazon is coming up with. So be sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon and BSLer from beautiful San Diego. In today's video, we'll be talking about Q4, all the new things that Amazon is coming up with. Also, uh, what you should know when selling on Amazon in this time of the year, um, according to you know product research, um, you know contacting suppliers, and just the whole um, you know shebang all together. So um, you know I really wanted to make this video because I honestly haven't been posting on YouTube, and I'm really sorry. However, now I am getting back on the groove, and I'll be posting daily as I used to before. Um, now, if you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section below and um, let me know if there is any specific topic you guys want me to talk about in my future videos. But in today's video, it is something that's, you know, that I have been waiting for for a while and I have been thinking about, you know, for some time now. And it's very important for especially beginner sellers to know before starting to sell on Amazon and Q4. Now, some people ask, what is Q4? And that pretty much means quarter four. Um, as many of you guys know that the year or the fiscal year is broken into four different quarters. You got Q1, which is January, February, March, Q2, which is April, May, June, Q3, which is, you know, July, August, September, and then uh, Q4, which is October, November, December, right? So why is Q4 very important? Um, now, one thing you guys need to know about is that in Q4, Amazon does more sales than literally the entire year. Um, in fact, on Thanksgiving itself or on Black Friday itself, Amazon does more sales than I think like four or five months of its, you know, of its uh, selling uh, year or whatnot, you know. Um, so it is very crucial that you guys understand what you guys are about to approach or what is coming in your way. Now, why is it that Q4 is very important and why do sales increase? Because you have three or four major holidays. You know, you have Halloween, you have Thanksgiving, you have Christmas, and you have New Year's. And, you know, those holidays, most of people literally wait all year to celebrate those holidays, especially Christmas and New Year's, to buy gifts and presents for, you know, for their loved ones, for their kids, for their spouses or whatnot. And, um... Everybody pretty much rushes to the online market to buying those, uh, you know, those products or those items. Um, and the fact that Amazon, you know, is responsible for or is accounting for 55% of all online sales, a lot of, you know, Amazon sellers will experience inflation in sales. So if you are currently selling 10 units a day, you're probably going to be seeing, you know, that uh, your sales are going to start increasing to 12, 15, 20. I experience about 50 to 70 percent an increase um, in Q4 and especially November, December. Now that is all great and all, but there is a few things that you guys really need to watch out for in Q4. I almost always suggest all my students and people that follow me that they need to stop product research towards the end of October. And that was one of the biggest mistakes I personally made when I first started selling on Amazon. So I started selling on Amazon about exactly two years ago. I got into Amazon FBA in 2016 and September 2016. And, you know, I launched my first product in November, right? So what happened was I started looking at a product. Number one, it was seasonal and it was in season around this time of the year. Number two, it was around this time of the year that I found that product. Now, it didn't take me long to actually launch it and, you know, contact suppliers and all, which is why I found it. And, you know, I think it was like last week of October and I launched it kind of towards the end of November. So what happened was I found the product, I found a supplier, manufactured it and shipped it over and it did great for about a month. And then right after January, sales tanked. I was doing about 10, 12 units a day. After January, you know, and, and February, I started doing about like seven units a week, right? Um, and because when I looked at it, then the sales were great. Because of this inflation and in sales, a lot of beginner sellers will locate products around this time of the year and they will look great. The sales will look great. However, 
they're not that great because they're only inflated around this time of the year because people seem to want to buy it, right? So I always teach that you need to find products that you can sell throughout the entire year, not just a month or two months or three months of the year, right? So that's one thing you need to watch out for. Another thing you need to watch out for, if you are already selling on Amazon, because of this inflation in sales, you need to plan to re-up your inventory, to restock your inventory ahead of time. So let's say the niche that I teach is 300 units a month sold, and if you are in that niche and you're selling 300 units and you only have 200 units left, and you do know that it takes you know four to seven days to get your product manufactured, and another four to seven days to get your product shipped, and you know that Amazon takes two to five days to sort out through your product, you need to start ordering right now so it takes about two weeks for your product to get in and become available and you only have about a little bit over two weeks worth of products so you need to order right now and instead of ordering and making sure they only have 300 you need to maybe make sure they have 400 or 500 because sales are going to increase and whether you're gonna you know find or, or, or experience a a heavy impact on your inventory or not they are going to increase at least by 10, 20, and 30%. I don't think I've ever seen a case where any Amazon seller does not experience any increase of sales regardless of your product. It's just that it seems that almost everybody in the world wants to buy more around this time of the year, although the products have nothing to do with the season. Now, if you do have a seasonal product, great for you. Although it may sound great because you're launching a great, you know, a seasonal product and you're going to do good now. But what about the remaining of the year? What about the, you know, the other two, three, four, six months of the year? What are you going to do then? You know, that's why I don't like seasonal products. Now, another thing, which there is actually going to be a part two to this video, and it's uh, the customs and the China tariffs uh, because of the whole Trump, you know, uh, uh, um, new laws and regulations that he's put in place. Um, now the tariffs on uh, goods shipped from China or overseas uh, generally are becoming a little bit more expensive. The taxes are becoming a little bit more. And now I am being contacted by all my suppliers telling me that the, uh, the tariffs are going to be much higher and that I should be expecting you know, a higher cost. So maybe you can start from now to increase the product uh, selling price. So instead of let's say charging $16.99, maybe you can start charging $17.29. Uh, Just don't increase, don't jump 50, you know, 75 or a dollar um, all at once. Kind of do it in like 10 to 20 cent increments, depending on the product selling price. If let's say your product sells for 30 bucks, then maybe you can go up a dollar at a time. But if you're below $18 or so, then maybe 10 to 30 cents increments increase would be a good thing but then you do understand that there is a threshold that you can't pass because once you pass you'll just start you know seeing a uh, uh, drop in, in sales and you kind of need to work with that but I will be making a video specifically about customs and the tariffs and everything which will be the next video that I'll be putting out however in today's video I really wanted to focus on Q4 what you guys should understand and know about product research and not get all excited when you find a great product. And also, I do offer free analysis. So if you guys do find a product that you like and you want me to analyze it, please do not hesitate. Either message me here or message me on my Facebook or Instagram. All the uh, the, the uh, links are going to be in the comment section below. Um, aside from that, guys, best shark get to hear Amazon be a seller from beautiful San Diego. Now, the question of the day, and that is something that I'm going to be doing new at the end of all of my videos so be sure you guys stay until the end um to actually you know uh, uh um get to understand what the question of the day is and always the question of the day has to do with amazon fba with the topic of the video and it's very crucial and beneficial for you guys so the question of the day is what are some struggles that you are you as a seller on amazon whether you are a beginner intermediate or experienced are you facing you know and that could be product research, that could be product launch, it could be getting reviews, which is something that a lot of us are having problems with. Uh, it could be maybe, you know, getting emails over to your customers, returns, you know, authenticity, your Amazon account 
whatever the case may be, it's just very simple. Once again, it could be maybe one or two words, or it could be, you know, you can go about explaining exactly what it is. And all you got to do is just drop the answer in the comment section. So once again, the question of the day is, what struggles are you facing with selling on Amazon today? Guys, once again, Bashar Ketu here. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you very much for being so awesome. Thank you very much for watching me. Go ahead and uh, smash the like button on this page and on this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and also let me know in the comment section um, what other topics you want me to cover in my future uh, videos. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a great day and take care.